This is an overview of the workflow for using the Pippin Prep and Blue Pippin systems. Detailed instructions for these steps outlined here are presented in subsequent tutorial videos. Processing a gel cassette with four or five DNA size selection samples should take about 10 to 15 minutes of hands-on time. Typical run times for short read libraries are one to two hours. Pulsed field protocols for high molecular weight DNA size selection can require several hours or overnight. The first step is to select a cassette definition in software and to program the size selection for each DNA sample. The cassette definition reflects the agarose percentage and whether an internal or external marker is used in the gel cassette. Size selection parameters are entered as either a target or a range. The next step is to calibrate the optical array before running a cassette to ensure that the LED detectors are operating at the correct intensity using the calibration fixture and a short software algorithm. Users will need to supply a P200 pipette and tips, a cassette, elution well sealing tapes, reagents warm to room temperature, and the quick guide should be made available. The gel cassette is removed from its foil packaging and inspected for leakage, gel breakage, or delamination from the cassette body. The cassette is then manipulated to clear air bubbles from electrophoretic pathways and placed into the instrument nest where the adhesive tapes are removed from the cassette. The buffer must be replaced in the elution wells and then resealed with adhesive strips. Once the cassette is prepared, the lid is closed and an electrical current test is run with software to ensure all electrophoretic pathways are clear of electrical obstructions. DNA samples or sequencing libraries are brought to 30 microliters in TE. 10 microliters of internal DNA marker is added, or 10 microliters of loading solution is added when an external marker is used, bringing the final volume to 40 microliters. Samples are loaded by first removing 40 microliters from a sample well and then adding 40 microliters of the sample to that well. Then the lid is closed and the run initiated. At the end of the run, the elution well adhesive strips are removed and the looted fractions are removed by pipette. For blue pip and high molecular weight size selections, we recommend allowing an additional 45 minutes after the run before removal to improve yield. A tween wash can also improve yield slightly.